dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon, we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. So, who's ready to see a complete overreaction, an assault, and excessive force, all in the period of about 15 seconds? So here we have a guy calmly walking down the street when a police car pulls up. Puts his hands up, does exactly what he should do. Gets down on the floor, on his front. And even though he's doing as he's told and he's being compliant, the dickweed with the dog pulls the dog out. One of them jumps on his head with his knee, another one comes in and punches him. Absolutely, and he's punching him some more against the curb. Looks like he was punching his leg there. We'll check that out again in a minute with a close up. And you see this prick at the front coming down on his knee several times. This one comes out with his CS gas, trying to get in there to have a go. Everyone else has assaulted him, so why not me, he's thinking. Wow. There was absolutely no need no need for the amount of force that they just used there. The dog didn't need to come out. <laughs> the, he didn't need to be punched. He didn't need to be knee dropped on what looked like his head. And again, we'll have a close look at that in a moment. I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked by what I've just seen. The guy was not fighting back or anything. Right, so let's take a slower look through this, shall we? Now the guy's clearly not running from anybody. He's walking calmly. He's told to stop and he puts his hands up. Yet the policeman still gets his dog out. While this idiot grabs him, even though he's on the floor, he grabs him and starts twisting him around and I don't get it. I just don't understand it. Now we see the cop on the closest left, up, down on his knee. And he does that a couple of times while this other one here comes running in and starts laying a few punches in. And he punches again, looks like he's punching his leg against the curb. Now I've got to say that reminds me a little bit of the scene in American History X where it, uh, Edward, Edward Nolan I think his name is, gets the guy to bite the curb and then kicks down on the back of his head. And now Billy Big Balls, the one closest to us, decides to do a couple of knee drops on the guy. And from where I'm sitting looking at this, it looks like he's come down on his head. So let's just sort of rough guess where his knee's gonna be and let's see where the guy is when they all get up if we can see that part well it looked to me very close to his head it might not have been on his head but it looked very close to his head wow I unfortunately don't know where this happened, but I hope to God that this CCTV camera, because that those that bunch of absolute wankers clearly didn't know this CCTV camera was there. So I hope to God, I don't believe in God, but I, I, I hope <laughs> one way or another that this footage has got to the superiors of these police constables. And if we could find out their names, that'd be great. I hope somebody watching this can give us some names of these utter, utter despicable human beings.
Now, with the aim of trying to give you the facts and the, you know, a truthful report, when information becomes available, the video that you've just seen that I actually recorded yesterday was recorded in the context of what we had seen. Now, although that doesn't necessarily change with the new information, there is new information. And that information is that um, the IOPC has been notified of the attack that you're seeing on the screen, allegedly showing police attacking a man whilst arresting him. The guy being attacked is Adil Ashraf, 34 year old and this happened in Accrington in Lancashire. Mr. Ashraf, who is from Accrington, has been charged with aggravated vehicle taking and dangerous driving, or so the report says. In the clip, it shows Mr. Ashraf walking along a street when two police cars and one police van rapidly come into view. As soon as the first car pulls up alongside him, Mr. Ashraf faces towards the road and raises his hands into the air. One officer runs towards him, pointing to the floor, Mr. Ashraf quickly gets to his knees. A second officer emerges from the car briefly before reaching back inside. He then comes out this time with a police dog. Another officer then comes out of another car and appears to drag Mr. Ashraf before kneeling on him. I like the way these people use specific words like appears to drag Mr. Ashraf. It doesn't appear that he dragged him. He did drag him. A fourth officer then jumps in to help. He allegedly punches a suspect before holding his legs to the pavement. Allegedly punches him. It's clear we can see that he's punching his leg while his leg is against the curb. That is going to cause considerable pain. The fifth officer then comes into view before another police car appears in the right hand side of the frame. As the video ends, a final officer then walks over to the scene of the arrest. A Lancashire police spokesperson said, you may have seen the video footage being circulated in the media of an incident that occurred in Accrington last week. The circumstances are that around 11 a.m. on January the 8th, police received a report of a burglary at an address in Blackburn during which a Nissan Duke car was stolen. The car was later spotted by police in the church area and pursued by officers to the Lonsdale Street area of Accrington, where a stinger was deployed to bring the vehicle to a stop. This happened at shortly before 2 p.m. A man got out of the car and was then detained by officers and his arrest is what is seen in the footage which has been widely shared. What confuses me there is where is, you know, if the man got out of the car and was then arrested, how was the guy walking all this way down the street and then all of a sudden all these police cars turn up? That's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit confusing. Anyway, they go on to say, we appreciate the concern that perceptions of the officer, uh, of the officer's actions in the video have caused. And we would like to reassure people that the incident is being fully reviewed by our professional standards department. In other words, they've received the report. It's going to go in a drawer and in a week or two, they're going to pull it out and stamp it as not upheld. In the interest of openness and transparently, transparency, we are also voluntarily referring the incident to the Independent Office of Police Conduct, which you wouldn't do if you didn't think the officers had done something wrong. Now it says the guy, uh, Adil Ashraf, has been charged with aggravated vehicle taking and dangerous driving and also been recalled to prison. An IOPC spokesperson said, we have seen the footage of the arrest made by Lancashire Police and we have spoken to the force concerning this matter. We are expecting a referral to be with us soon, which we will assess quickly to determine how this incident will be investigated. Well, it's incredible really how the report fails to mention anything about this cop coming down on this bloke's head with his knee. There you go. Absolutely no mention of that whatsoever. Or the punch there it just shows him punching his just talks about him punching his leg so i wanted to share that extra bit of information with you uh, i've stuck that onto the end of this video rather than creating a whole separate one um and there we go as i say in the interest of keeping updated with information that is actually available 
um, you know, don't want to be accused of being a police hater now, do I? By not supplying you with all of the info. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.